Can you reduce York University's impact on our climate? You have probably heard a lot about human impacts on our climate over the past few years. But how does it relate to you and York University? To figure it out, we measured all our greenhouse gas emissions and here is what it looks like. Our campuses are like a city. About 36% of our GHG emissions come from fuel combustion in our own gas plant for heating, cooling and electricity in our buildings. About 21% comes from mobility, two-thirds mainly from large numbers of students commuting and one-third from business travel by faculty and staff. The remainder 42% includes everything else – purchase of goods and services, investments, repair and maintenance, etc. As a leader in sustainability, our goal is to reduce our emissions by 45% by 2030 and to be net zero by 2040. Mobility is clearly an important piece of the puzzle, but coming together to exchange ideas and share knowledge is essential to our mission as a university. So, how do we reduce these emissions? Here are some ideas we have come up with, and we would love to hear yours too. Switch from driving to public transit for your commute. Bus transit produces six times fewer emissions than driving alone and taking the subway has almost 30 times fewer emissions. If you have to use a car, the more people in it, the more efficient it becomes. Check out York support and tools, more to come soon, to connect with others and find the best ride. You might also make new friends. Consider going electric. Driving an electric car typically generates only a third of the emissions of a medium gasoline car. And you will save money too, on gas and maintenance. York is investing in electric micromobility vehicles on campus. Human power is best. It comes directly from the food you eat. Walking and biking generate virtually no emissions and it keeps you healthy. York is also investing in bike share programs. Make your business travel count. Did you know that one person doing a return flight Toronto-Frankfurt generate as much carbon as the same person driving a medium-sized gasoline car for almost 10,000 kilometers? This is more than half what an average Canadian drives in a year. Can you avoid one or two unnecessary trips? Can you deliver this two-hour presentation remotely? Can you think about conference travel in a new sustainable way? Can you use ground transportation? Can you stay a little longer and get a few additional things done during the same trip? There is no better time than today to rethink our mobility patterns and be more efficient with our resources, while still delivering the best education, research and experience on our sustainable campuses. So what is your next move?